But first, I want you to imagine high-speed rail between Newcastle and Sydney. Well, keep on imagining, because there is nothing fast or high speed about the government's promise to deliver this. The Albanese government came to office promising to get this project up and going, but they took fully a year to even establish the High Speed Rail Authority, which then spent a month and a half trying to compose an advertisement for a CEO and then six months looking for said CEO. Glaciers move faster. Well, now the High Speed Rail Authority have announced they'll spend the next 12 months and a lazy $78.8 million Oof. doing a feasibility study. Now, I should point out that's $78.8 million on top of $100 million spent by the New South Wales government four years ago on a feasibility study that found the high speed rail was not feasible. So, Liz, we could end up sitting here this time next year with the New South Wales and federal governments having spent six years and almost $200 million of taxpayer money deciding it's not feasible to do what they have not done. This is... This has to be one of the longest-running jokes in <laughs> Australian politics. They have been talking about high-speed <clears throat> rail since the 1980s. I wasn't even born yet. And these guys were like, yep, yeah, it's going to happen any minute. We've already spent hundreds of millions over the years mm. looking into it, where we'd put it. We had people come from countries who have high-speed rail and being like, where should we put it? What do you think? This is long overdue. But even if the Albanese government were to get their feasibility study back and it was all green ticks, you're not going to be in power long enough to make it happen, are you? This is one of the most well-travelled routes in Australia in terms of... And it's already at full capacity. So it makes sense that if you're going to do it, do it there. They say it would reduce the travel time between Newcastle and Sydney to just 45 minutes. And I'm sure there's be a lot of customers already lining up to take it, but it is years away yet. Mm. And it just seems like pie in the sky still. And there's Albanese out there with his hard hat having a photo op over it. I just find it completely... It's comedy. Well, you it's mentioned comedy. Albanese with his hat. Here he is, but he's talking up this great idea that we're going to have earlier this month. The fat controller was very cross. At last, the supplies for the cafeteria. The men worked to unload bread and butter and cheese. Let's not forget the milk. Oh, no! My trousers! That's about as well as this plan is going to go. Albanese wants to be the fat controller, or maybe the thin controller these days after he lost all that weight after his car crash. He really did. You, you, you said, Liz, that uh, this is the longest-running joke in Australia. I'm convinced they've been telling this yarn in front bars before women were even allowed in the front <laughs> bar. And you said, imagine, because you've got to keep imagining, mm. It's more James, of a fantasy, when, really. When, when John Lennon sang Imagine in 1971, I'm pretty sure there was a line in there. <laughs> imagine, huh? My speed rail. I won't sing again, don't worry. Look, the problem here is it is never, ever going to happen because all the estimates that have been done so far into the cost of this mm. say that per kilometre it would cost 100 to 200 million dollars to build high speed rail in this country. It's a fabulous idea. I love the concept of high speed rail. Imagine being able to get on a train and go from Sydney to Newcastle in 45 minutes, or Sydney to Brisbane, or Sydney to Melbourne, and then on to Adelaide and wherever else, right? Fantastic idea. But it's never going to happen. You could spend $100 million on a feasibility study. You could have just spent that $100 million building a kilometre of rail line. Wait, how much did you say it's going to cost again? $100 to $200 million we, per kilometre. We can afford it. Because when we're a renewable energy superpower, we'll be selling <laughs> sunbeams <laughs> to countries all Around over the world. Around the world. It'll be, look, the way inflation is, by the time they do their feasibility study with all the costings and mm. get around to actually building it, the feasibility study will be so out of date. And Victoria are a prime example yeah. where their rail links keep blowing out by billions of dollars. So yeah. you'd never believe, even if the feasibility study comes back saying we can do this, 
that it could ever be done. But we've already had countless feasibility studies. Yeah. That's why this is a joke. There's been decades of election promises as well. The Albanese government said election promise as well. We, uh, we're joining that club. Is $500 million to make it happen. I want to know if the, the money we're spending on this feasibility study is coming out of the $500 million or no. But I want... See, this is, again, I know I've said this... Or will that times. get us five kilometres? I know, I know. Five I, I know I've, said track. This, I've said this so many times. I'm going to say it again. I'm not going to stage a walkout this time in search of a job. <laughs> but this is another government contract I would it really is. love to have. Because you're essentially giving someone $80 million to come back with a report in about three or four years saying... Nah, wouldn't work. I mean, that's the easiest $80 million you could ever make in your life, right?